How many times have we seen reports from Asian papers that have pronounced this some supply chain wrong? And Apple does uh, amazing things to make sure that you don't know about their supply chain. They switch supply chains. They're incredibly clever. What do they really want here? The CFO, when I said to the CFO, please, how about earning some money on your cash balance because of short-term rates? He said, we're going to buy. We're going to buy. Well, isn't this convenient? So all these panickers, you know, sell it down to 200. At 200, I bet you'll be selling it to the company. Uh, that will look bad, I think, ultimately. Uh, it is really interesting how it's so well-timed, isn't it? They just reported, and they said they're not going to break down any phones. So then this report surfaces saying, hey, they're, they're holding off. So now you're supposed to say, aha, I know why they're not telling you this. This is complete nonsense. I'm not saying the stock's going to go up. I say the stock's going to go down. I say the company has a buyback, and they're going to buy every share. Every share they can. Just not, not unlike what Ed Breen did. By the way, Ed Breen last week on DuPont Dow said, listen, why don't you guys sell? I, 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 we want to buy. Really interesting calls, both Apple and DuPont Dow. It's like, hey, guys, would you please sell? Would you panic? We want to buy. Although DuPont shares actually did go up significantly on the back of and, that earnings report for the and, first and, time in a long time. And I think first, first time in a long time. Yeah, first time in a long time. First time in a long time. Uh, well put. Yeah. By the way, Rosenblatt's target is, uh, is 200, I believe. And we got the new 10Q and a fresh share count. And the trillion dollar market cap looks like it's around 210 and change. So we're below that today. All right. Well, look, I, I thought it was very interesting that Warren Buffett's buying stock above where he said. You mean buying, not buying, uh, buying Buffett. stock in Apple or buying his own Berkshire. stock? Berkshire. Yes. So I'm saying that, you know, I mean, now, of course, here's the dichotomy. I pick up one article which, oh, this weekend which says, Buffett has nothing to buy, so he's buying back his stock because he thinks the market's overvalued. And then I read another whole series of articles that said Buffett's buying his stock because he thinks it's undervalued. I mean, this is really the problem. Glass half full, glass half empty. A lot of people feel this is your moment to buy, and a lot of people feel like, look out, crash, crash coming. 